Panama, at the narrowest part of the American continent, is center of the world in many ways. It has been for centuries a door for an ever-expanding network of human transit. This small but influential country is the host of the Panama Canal, a 20th century engineering marvel. Since its opening in 1914, it has provided world markets with a time, cost-effective crossing between the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. Meet the demands of globalization, the Panama Canal Authority has launched an expansion program to offer maritime trade a third lane of transit, one able to cross post Panamax vessels from one ocean to the other. This $5.2 billion investment involves projects on water and land to accommodate a new set of locks and improve the navigation channel for larger ships. Today, we have completed 71% of the job. Both entrances to the canal are ready for post-Panamax ships as the deepening and widening projects on the Pacific and the Atlantic side have been completed. The Gatun Lake path and the Culebra Cut projects have reached the desired levels with only a small portion to be completed. These projects brought a great variety of dredging equipment in canal waters, all while maintaining transit undisturbed. The third set of locks project consists of two new lock complexes with chambers large enough to accommodate post-Panamax ships. Contractor Grupo Unidos por el Canal executes the design and build contract they won by public tender in 2009. Since then, they have delimited, excavated, and began civil construction on both sides of the canal. The new locks will be 30% larger than the current locks and could fit three Empire State buildings lengthwise in its chambers. To ensure sustainable use of water, the locks design includes three water-saving basins per chamber, allowing a 60% of water to be used in up to three lockages. Water flow between the basins and the chambers will be controlled by a valve system commissioned to Hyundai Samho Heavy Industries in South Korea. The first five shipments of valves have already arrived. The third set of locks will open and close its chambers with double sliding steel gates. On average, each one of the 16 gates required will weigh approximately 3,300 tons and will be transported to their lockhead for placing in the Atlantic project later in the year. Overall, 64% of the construction of the third set of locks has been completed. In order to build only one locks complex in the Pacific side, the program must build an exclusive access channel and thus bypass Miraflores Lake. This 6.1 kilometer long connection from the new locks to the entrance of the Culebra Cut was divided into four phases and entails the extraction of 50 million cubic meters of material. Contractor Ica FSC Meco conducts the ongoing fourth stage. It has reached the design depth and now focuses on building a dam to separate the new channel waters from those of the Miraflores Lake as they will have 9 meters of difference in level. This project has reached 74% of completion. To meet an increased water demand, the expanded canal will establish a new maximum operating level for Gatun Lake, its principal freshwater reservoir. Several adjustments to the existing structures are to be made to contain the new level. To date, 57% of this project has been completed. Meanwhile, work also advances in the green fields of reforestation. To compensate the displacement of forests within the project's footprint, more than 600 hectares of land across the country have become alive with new trees and the care of local residents. Mammals, reptiles and birds have been rescued and relocated to safe areas. With such extensive dredging and excavating operations, remains of other times have surfaced. Archaeological findings range from pre-Columbian arrowheads to a 16th century dagger. The Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute collaborates with the program by analyzing animal and plant fossils recovered from the job sites. 
including some that will change the way modern science explains climate change. Just as the construction of the Panama Canal changed the course of history almost a century ago, today's expansion represents a game change for traders and consumers alike. The path is set, the walls grow tall. This is history in the making, and this small but influential nation at the center of the world meets this challenge with accountability, courage, and vision. <laughs>